Hi friends, this is John Summers from On the Hunt for Treasures. Do you like digging and diving for a little bit of history, like antiques? Or how about finding out a little history about towns in our area? Although we always find some great items, the real treasures are the places we go and the people we meet. So join us, won't you, for another episode of On the Hunt for Treasures. show. Today we're going to be visiting Hazel, Kentucky, long considered one of the best antiquing towns in the area. We'll be visiting with my friends at Mantiques and Sharon at the cabin. We'll also hear from Molly at the Phoenix Antique Store. My wife is with me today and she wants to stop in and check out some of the local art at Bellas. But first, here's a little history on Hazel from the mayor. My name is John Scooter Pascal and I'm the mayor of the city of Hazel. Here to tell you a little bit about the history of the city of Hazel. Back in 1890, the city was called Kinsey at that time and a lot of the residents at that time were not very happy with the name. It's right on the Kentucky-Tennessee border, hence the name of Kinsey. So after much deliberation, they decided that they would change the name to Hazel, Kentucky. Now the reason for the name is, and the, where it came from, is a little bit sketchy. There's a couple different uh, anecdotes to the, how the name came about. The first one is that there was a lot of hazelnut trees in the area and that was one of the reasons for the name. The second reason, one of the leaders of the railroad, their daughter name was Hazel. So those are two of the things that are suspect to the naming of the city of Hazel. Now back in its heyday, especially with the railroad, Hazel was really, really booming. I mean, there was a lot of things going on here. Uh, dark fire tobacco was a, was a major crop in this area. And we had all kinds of stores. They had doctor's offices, they had barber shops, they had uh, feed mills, they had lumber stores, they had restaurants, they had just about anything that any small city or even a large city, for that matter of fact, would have uh, would have wanted. It was just a really nice self-contained area on the southern part of Kentucky. And it, it really uh, took off because of the railroad. Back in the 60s, 70s and 80s, a lot of the businesses started leaving the city of Hazel. And it started getting a little thin around here as far as businesses. And in the early 1980s, a gentleman by the name of Sonny Parkhill brought the very first antique store into the city of Hazel. After that, another one was opened up and people started seeing that it was, uh, was doing a really, really good job here in Hazel. So more and more started popping up. And after probably about in the 90s, early 2000s, this place became one of the top places in the United States for shopping for antiques. Well, hello, my name is Jim and I own Mantiques in Hazel, Kentucky. John Summers will be here shortly. You'll all notice that I wear a Navy hat all the time and my nickname is the Admiral because I do wear a Navy hat all the time. And it's because my son is a United States Naval Aviator and obviously I'm very proud of that. Around 35 years ago, I started collecting railroad ania uh, from everything from bells and whistles to builders plates to keys and locks. And I just kept collecting and collecting and collecting. And then through the years, I've branched out into, I guess what we all call mantiques. And that's porcelain signs, gas and oil pumps, um, ca you know, cash registers, anything militaria. And it's kind of snowballed out of control where eventually I had to open up a shop to start displaying my stuff and my wife wanted me to start selling some of the stuff so she wouldn't get stuck with it all uh, when I passed away, uh, hopefully no time soon. Well, hey, Jim, how are you? Well, how you doing, John? Good, good. Glad you can make it. I'm glad to be here. Uh, brother, we got some great stuff for you to see. Oh, I, I just can't wait. And, I just can't wait. And a lot of new stuff, Is too. that right? Things I'm interested in? Yes, right up your alley. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, great. 
My buddy Jim has a great collection. He's like me, he likes to collect things that preserve history, but also unique items. You've never seen a collection like this. This man here has a collection that is just out of this world. Hey buddy, come and show me this stuff here. All right, let's uh, get to the meat and potatoes of some <laughs> of the stuff I think you really like. Yeah. Oh, Jim, there's now there's a lo good local piece for me. It's out of Paducah, Hug the Druggist. Is that, oh, yeah. Is that right? Well, that uh, is the Hug the Druggist sign before the Paducah floods. And so when they flooded out, the store was done. Right. You know, and then and then if you look over here, there's the actual Rexall drug sign oh, and where S they hugs. reopened up under the Rexall brand. Under the Rexall brand. Yeah, wow. that, that and, was and everything the, was explained. The holes that are in there, I'm assuming that's neon holes yes. for the neon, mm -hmm. when they put neon to yep. it. It was a neon can sign, which was very common way back in the thing, hanging mm -hmm. way over the street. Yeah, yeah. isn't that something? You still got, look at preserving something like that, the history. That is just a wonderful, wonderful piece. I love it. Best pieces of history in the whole building. I, I can wonderful. see that. I can mm -hmm. see that. Oh, here's another nice piece I like. This is beautiful. This Pennzoil sign is absolutely great. Really nice. What date does this date back to? Well, that's got to be at least from the 50s. Yeah, I'd say because most of them have the or the oblong, or the, they're kind of squared off and broke off, aren't not, they? Well, not only that, but Pennzoil, as a general rule, did not do a lot of porcelain, so it has to be very old. Okay, yes. I see. All right, that's great. And it's got the original base. You'll notice property I of the Pennzoil Corporation. I've seen that, property of the Pennzoil Corporation. Yeah, and all this is original. I love it. Absolutely love magnificent. What yes. a great sign. Hey, and what's these up here, Jim? Well, these are the Buster Brown horses. It's a complete set. And in the old shoe stores, they had a metal carousel and they were on the end of the carousel. Each one you'll notice is turned just a little bit. So oh, the kids, yeah. when they came into the shoe store, could sit on them and ride them around. And right in, in the shoe store. In the shoe store. What's so cool about these are, you've got the name. See how that one says Flicka yeah. on there? So there's a name on one side and then the Buster Brown insignia <laughs> is on, on the, the other side. Wow. Yeah. And then look, if you come over here at this angle, See how they had the little tails? <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, Just adorable. Yeah. Now I've got one of these right here, and I, I picked it up here down in North Carolina on that Coke sign right there. And it, this is a uh, everything's original to the sign. It's got the top marquee and the buttons and it's everything. Got, it's got right? the top marquee, the buttons, the whole thing, mm -hmm. uh, and it's got the date on it, 1940. Okay. Uh, on dated on the backside of it, 1940. I can't remember if it had a manufacturer, but it's really faint. You can't hardly see it. You have to get a magnifying glass to see it. Technically, that's what you want. Is it? Okay. Yes, because that is the one thing that the manufacturer didn't really think about doing uh, professionally or really clean and crisp, is they just basically rubber stamped, and sometimes they'd smudge it. So when I see something like from the Nashville Enamel Company, and I see a little smudge, yeah. I know it's the you know real it's deal. You know it's the real deal. Exactly. So the other thing I like is it's it's totally period correct. So in other words, you've got at least three or four 22 dings in it and a couple of pellet pellet gun dings in it. Exactly. So, and let's face it, back in the 40s and 50s, every kid went around with a pellet, pellet gun, gun or a 22. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so. we know that from the signs I've seen. Most of them have a little hole in it somewhere. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's yep. not from rocks. No, it's not from rocks. Yeah. <laughs> How you like this? Huh? Is this the piece you want to show me? Yes, yes. Oh, here you go. Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I and I know you're into mobile oil. I know you just picked up a couple of cool items. So so you know, yeah. The this, Pegasus on it. This is absolutely beautiful. Tell me a little story about it, John. I know you're going to love this piece. It's it's special. And what really makes it special, the aviation. Oh, 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 I didn't even That's see that. You Aviation don't find oil. every day, yeah. No, oh yeah, that, that makes it a special collector's item. Yep. I mean, that just sets it apart. Uh, you know, you can find 100 gas and oil, but you'll be lucky to find one or two pieces that even mention aviation. And when you, cut, when you combine that with the mobile oil, it hit its out of the park, without a doubt. It's a great piece. I'll tell you what, this is about probably about one of the most unique pieces I've seen in the mobile oil. Oh. Um, now it was gargoyle first, and then and then came over to the flying horse the flying after that. Flying horse after that, after exactly. That, yeah. Yes. And then you notice that this holds the actual quart bottles. And these were the old quart bottles that had the stem on them. So they lined up here, 
uh, in, the, in the display rack. So what, it's an absolute gem of a piece. Now I told you Jim had quite a collection. Everybody will have their own favorite items. Have you spotted my favorite, what my favorite would be? Well, join us when we return to find out and maybe we can make a deal. If you haven't been to Sisters and Friends lately, a new season of unique furniture and finds has arrived. We specialize in and carry quality antiques, farmhouse originals, and custom painted furniture, including our new Bramble line and so much more. Let us help you pick out just the right piece for your home. We invite you to stop by and check out hundreds of new items throughout the store to brighten up your home. We have something for every room. Sisters and Friends, just 15 minutes past Kentucky Oaks Mall on Highway 60. Any piece, any color, endless possibilities. Would it be able to give Ivy to go $250,000 on it? Folks are going to settle the highest and best bid. I need some money. It's your money, not mine. Somebody Chris came highly recommended from some family friends over here. So I contacted Chris. He was uh, very respectful, very professional, um, came with a plan, and so we made our decision almost immediately. Chris has been very sympathetic, he's been very empathetic, Chris is very respectful of the contents, Chris has been great to work with and really helped guide us through this process. With me being two and a half hours away, Chris has kind of stepped into a bigger role than, than most probably would, so that's really helped on my side where I'm not having to come back and forth you know, two and a half hours each way uh, to take care of the little things. Chris has been able to step in and handle it almost like it's his own. So right there, $287,500 plus 10%. Give her a round of applause, $287,500. Hi, I'm Jerry Summers. Come on out to New Wave Flooring. We're still going to offer that free install on Mohawk Carpet. We still got that luxury vinyl tile down here, wood look and tile look. Several different colors in stock, as low as 49 cents a square foot. Hey, if it's row vinyl you're looking for, we've got several rows in stock and free install if you get it here. Hey, if you know someone doing some flooring, we now offer gift cards. Blink, I'm gone. Jerry, you know you're still here, right? Man, I got work to do. At First Community Bank, we believe you will treasure how simply convenient banking can be. From multiple office and drive through locations to online and mobile banking services, we strive to offer the things that matter most to you. We also think you will treasure our people, from a life-friendly voice on the phone to having a local and knowledgeable lending staff that knows your name and makes serving you a priority. Stop by one of our locations to see what hometown community banking is all about. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Well, John, I've got two really neat things in here. And the first thing is this National Gray Vault Company advertisement. And we call this creepy cool in the industry. And it's creepy and it's cool. What was explained to me is this was filled with water and it would show how the vault would be airtight by putting a cigarette in here as it was submerged in the water. So what they do, light a cigarette they in there and, a show cigarette how, and show how it keeps everything dry. How it dry keeps everything in dry inside. Yes. Isn't that something? Yeah. I mean, that's just creepy cool. Creepy cool. And then the other thing that I think is one of the best pieces in here, you've heard of the stadium carriers where they've got the Coke, Pepsi, and uh, Dr. Pepper? Well, over here is the original Orange Crush stadium carrier. And look, it's got all the graphics and everything. Can I see it? Absolutely. Right, sometimes I have to get a hands-on. No, you know? <laughs> no problem. Check so, it out. So yeah. what the guy would do, he would do what? Here, now you... He put the strap right on okay. there and lay it down. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And look, you've got the original Dixie cups. Oh, so he pulled the cup out. And he pop the cup out and then fill oh, it up right there. Oh, and fill it up so it would be liquid, all liquid in Exactly. Here. Isn't that something? Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. That's the best. I was thing. looking for a place to pop a top, but there's no popping <laughs> There's top. no pop. Yeah, yeah you just pop the Dixie cup, it fill it up. Yeah, here you go, sir. Yeah. Yeah. It's and really old. In, in stadiums and stuff like that. Love this piece. Well, John, here's one of my favorites. The greatest show on earth. This is the elephant badge that went on the front of the elephant on each of the elephants that were in the show. And you'll notice what's really cool. You see how the H has got that ding on it? Yes. yes. That's called a rub mark. Because when the elephants would greet each other, they'd rub their heads. And if they had the badge, <laughs> they'd rub the porcelain off the badge. Right. And on the back of that badge, if I remember correctly, it says Tolby, which is the name of the elephant. 
stamped yeah, into it. Stamped in. What do you date that back to? Uh, that's from the 60s. 60s, yeah, yeah. Because they actually had a blue version of this, which was even older, from the 40s. Yeah. So they had a blue team and a red team. Yeah, and what's really neat about this, this has got the actual emblems, the Ringling Brother, Barnum & Bailey emblems all put into the leather itself. It just makes for a wonderful piece. Here's the one I'm really interested in, it's mobile oil. I mean, okay. I know we talked about it when you came into it. I know you put it back one because you've seen the other. This is really, all the things we've seen, this is really the one I'd be after. Uh, what kind of price that we're talking here? Well, I mean, I've got, I've got 1400 on it. Okay. Um, you know, let me talk to my manager, Ronnie. Ronnie's here all the time. He runs okay. this place. I'll, I'll find out what we can, can really shave off for you. All right, that'd be good. Now, what, I, I tell you what, I'm just like always, I can't bargain on an empty stomach. So okay. let's go eat and you talk to Ron, see what it is and see what the best you can do on this because I really like this. Okay, okay? well great. Let's then do we'll, that, we'll go across the street to the Blue and White Grill and have a good lunch. Blue and White okay? Grill. Great. Yeah. That sounds great. Great. All right. Hey Ronnie, come on over here. Listen, John is really interested in this. You can tell he really likes this and I'd love for him to go home with it. What do you think the best price is we can do on it? Okay, all right. Thank you. I'm gonna go eat lunch, okay? All right. How's everything looking, guys? Okay. Hey, good. Hey, good. How you doing, John? Doing fine, sir. How about yourself? Yeah, you're a John. I'm a John, too. Well, I am, too. I'm Ralph Call you Scooter. Call you Scooter, huh? Okay, yes, good to see you. This is my wife, Tammy. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet yeah. You. I'm the mayor here in City of Hazel, one of the owners of Blue and White Grill. So if everything's looking good, yeah, oh, wonderful. That's wonderful. why I like to hear. Wonderful well, if you need usual. anything else, you let us know. Appreciate right. you guys. Appreciate Thanks, Scooter. You. So, I'm thinking about how much did he have on that sign? Well, we got fourteen hundred on it. Yeah, that's fourteen. How about a thousand dollars? I really like it, and I do a thousand on it. You know? Can you do any better than that? That's a little shy, but I'll tell you what. I, I'll cut the difference with you if you want. Twelve hundred. So we're saying fourteen down to twelve. Okay. I'll, do I'll that. tell you what, Jim. I'll do that. Ready? Good. I want to shake hands for our egg. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> well, I, I want you to go on away with something really good and something It is, right. it is. That's something and I it's really special. appreciate. Yeah. And since it says aviation on it, you know it's really special. I know it. It's, it is. I like it. Well, Thank good. You. Thank right. you. At First Community Bank, we believe you will treasure how simply convenient banking can be. From multiple office and drive through locations to online and mobile banking services, we strive to offer the things that matter most to you. We also think you will treasure our people, from a life-friendly voice on the phone to having a local and knowledgeable lending staff that knows your name and makes serving you a priority. Stop by one of our locations to see what hometown community banking is all about. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. If you haven't been to Sisters and Friends lately, a new season of unique furniture and finds has arrived. We specialize in and carry quality antiques, farmhouse originals, and custom painted furniture, including our new Bramble line and so much more. Let us help you pick out just the right piece for your home. We invite you to stop by and check out hundreds of new items throughout the store to brighten up your home. We have something for every room. Sisters and Friends, just 15 minutes past Kentucky Oaks Mall on Highway 60. Any piece, any color, endless possibilities. Hi, I'm Jerry Summers. Come on out to New Wave Flooring. We're still going to offer that free install on Mohawk Carpet. We still got that luxury vinyl tile down here. Wood look and tile look. Several different colors in stock. As low as 49 cents a square foot. Hey, if it's row vinyl you're looking for, we've got several rows in stock. And free install if you get it here. Hey, if you know someone doing some flooring, we now offer gift cards. Blink, I'm gone. Jerry, you know you're still here, right? Man, I got work to do. I'm usually on the road, maybe Thursday through Sunday. Well, my dad had a piece of property here that we needed to, to sell. So the first one I called was Chris Colson. The level of professionalism that Chris and his team have is just next to none. Because it was like I kept going to it, Chris, what do I need to do? It's okay, I got it. You don't have to worry about it, and you know, you know, without a doubt, it's taken care of. When it was come time for me to sign the papers, I signed the papers, and he hands me a check. So, so. Welcome back. Now we're going to drop in on Sharon at the cabin. Gerald is there too, but he's just a little camera shy. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You? Doing great. Hey. 
Pops. They said you had the best ice cream in town. I hope so. What flavor she got? Oh, mercy. We've got, uh, our best seller is butter pecan. That's my favorite. That's what I'll take. All right. And I think I'll go with the chocolate. Just, uh, just plain chocolate? Just, what else kind of chocolate do you have? Well, you want strawberry with it? You know what? Just chocolate. Just chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this here. Does, uh, does the kids like that? Oh, they do. Cotton candy. That gives them a sugar high. <laughs> wow. We don't want our grandson to have that. Well, yeah, no sugar high. <laughs> no. He would love that. He sure would. You have a beautiful store here. Well, thank you. Uh, since you're right here on the, on the county lines here, what's probably your best seller here in the store? Our Kentucky and Tennessee uh, garden flags. Is that right? Yeah. See, Run you're down. here on the line, so you've got to have both. That's right. That's right. I'm going to do the chocolate on the same one. Okay. How long have you been in business here? 15 years. 15 years. And you've lived here for how long? Uh, I came here when I was eight. Eight. So you've been here most all your life. A, a long, long time. At least 30 years, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More like 60. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. That's plenty. You sure? Now I'll do one more. Go ahead. I was, I was, I was trying to fake you out there. Oh, okay. That's plenty. Yeah, that is. Thank you very uh -huh. much. All right, we sure appreciate this, and we'll be back to see you for All sure. Right. Hey, I'm Rick Walls from Bella's. A few years ago, I retired from the Murray Fire Department, and in doing so, we, my wife and I, we saw a need to showcase local artists and craftsmen in Western Kentucky, West Tennessee. Over 60 different artists that have their stuff in, in Bella's, and what we discovered, the talent we have here in furniture making, and bow making, even in the jewelry that we have, it is just phenomenal. You no, know, I ask a lot of people, what, what, do you, what do you think that's made out of? And they never guess old doors. To take something old and build something new is, is kind of what we like. So it's really kind of neat. That, that's what I always like is the backstories on a piece that we have in here. These old benches are made out of uh, pre-Civil War cabins. Uh, again, taking old and making new. I, look at this here, Tammy. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That is absolutely beautiful. We have three grand dogs. Just barely. Oh, I was pushing two. I don't go turkey hunting. Do you? Uh, no. I'm just trying to figure out why it's not it working for me. Work. I think you're trying too hard. Just do it. Like you're scratching your yeah. finger now. Oh, on something. okay. How's that? that I'm scratching my finger now. There you go. Yeah, hey, I think we're going to take this coat rack. Okay, I'll get it down for you. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah, I love that. Now, does it have a, any story to it? Well, the wood was repurposed from a church. Uh, the wood came from a 100-year-old church in western Kentucky. I believe the church was in Livingston County. Okay, so so it has a history purpose, too. Yes, it does. So when we hang it up, we can hang our hat on some history. Yes. That's great. So it's a little bit... Well, one of the reasons that I do collect is everything's got a story and I love preserving history. The Southern Line specific drum that went on the back of the uh, railroad carts, something that you don't see unless you go to a museum. John, here's a cool piece. This is an air ministry bell, dated 1938. And these bells went on the runways over in Britain and they would use these to scramble the Spitfires when the Luftwaffe would come across the strait to bomb Britain. Oh. And what's really neat is you look at these and you think, wow, that's, it's a chrome-plated bell. But it's not. It's actually white bronze. And what they did was they put more chromium in it and made it white bronze. Okay. Yeah. So that would make a, just for protect the bell or for looks? Or... I guess it's for looks. Yeah. Exactly. Now, part of it was painted red. You can see here. Yeah. Got like but, a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice. wonderful piece of yeah. history. And yeah. I love it personally because my son's a pilot. Well, one of the coolest things we have, without a doubt, in Mantiques is this Franklin Drugs sign. And it's not the prettiest sign in here. It's kind of 
dull and drab, just black and gray. But what's really cool is we have a picture of it where it's hanging out of the original store that it came in. And this, the date of this picture is 1919. And this picture was taken in Rochester, New York, the day that old man Franklin got gunned down. And here's all the people standing outside the store when it happened. And on the side of it, we have taped to it the actual newspaper article of that day describing the whole incident. Yes, it's not a pretty sign, but it's without a doubt got the best providence in the whole store. We call it creepy cool and we love it, so. <laughs>